All right, folks. This is the first clutch of 2008. This will be 2008 clutch number one. And we just been busting ass. Just been busting ass. We just were at the rat barn working out. And uh, yeah, we were working out at the rat barn. You can tell I'm pretty messed up, can't you? Anyway, we just got finished at rat barn and uh, Gravy showed up and told me that uh, this female was laying eggs today while he was finishing up work. So we cleaned the rat barn, went and had dinner, and now we're back. I got Josh taking care of business for me on the camera. Come on over here once, Josh. You can film. You can shoot her. You can come around this way. This is the first clutch. That's a normal female, and I bred her to a calico male. So the first thing I do, as any of you guys already know, is I already got my little sticker that says 08 clutch number one, calico times normal. So I sit that on the female. Oh, there's a little piece of stuff hanging on. And I get my Nikon 5700. And I always snap a picture of the mom on the eggs for the birthing record page. So this is the first thing I do. Alright, so now we got a picture of mom on the eggs with the right writing on her little sticker. Now this sticker will show up again when we photograph the clutch of eggs. So we'll keep that right there. All right, now we're gonna take mom off the eggs. We're gonna show you guys this whole thing from beginning to end. It's gonna be a lot of parts. We don't know how many parts it's gonna be. But uh, we're going to show you from beginning to end, from me taking the eggs, setting the eggs up, mixing the vermiculite, placing a box in the in incubator, coming back to mom, and uh, taking care of her tub. All right, now, as you can see, she wants to roast me right now. Can you see her, Josh? Mm -hmm. Can you see her at the camera? All right, so what I'm going to do is let her know I'm here. She knows. And here we go. We're taking her off. And look at, look at her. She is totally empty. And you can see how concave she is. And that concaveness right there is how she molds around her eggs to keep them all huddled up together. All right, we're going to put mom in a temporary box. If I can find a temporary box. Keep her rolling, guys. Keep her rolling, baby. I'm coming back. There we go. Now, you know what I'm trying to think on the birthing record page, I do one of mom. I better do one on the eggs while I'm at it. I know I do them while they're in the tub. That's a nice clutch of eggs. All right, now I'm going to take another photo. I think I did away with this photo, but I'm going to take it anyway. I know I do the one on the vermiculite. Get one more clutch picture. All right, what do we got there, Josh? Three minutes and 30 seconds. And what do we got for eggies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 and a dud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, we got 12 and a dud. And, uh, this is a dud, folks. Stay there a minute. I'll get another dud for him. This is a slug or a dud, but this one's part of this clutch, so we'll leave that there. And this is one that a female that's due next, female number, the, the second clutch, she passed a slug already. And sometimes you'll notice that. Sometimes uh, if a female is holding a couple slugs towards the tail end and the eggs are further up, she'll blow out a couple slugs a couple weeks or a couple days before she actually lays her egg. Um, so this is a... Man, it's pretty hard. But that's a dud. You can see there's just nothing in it. Just a bunch of goo. No vascularity. We're going to leave that up there. That's going to be footage for later. Let me wash my hands. All right, we got 12 eggs, and right now, 
I've got my box that I'm going to go, we're going to go and do another clip, show you how I mix my, uh, mix the vermiculite. What this box says is this is normal female number 23, that's who this female is, Calico Daddy, 08 clutch number 1, and I've got on here 42508, 12 eggs, 1 slug. So 42508, 12 eggs, 1 slug, that's when they were ha born, hatched, laid, Jesus Ralph, laid. Come on, come over here once, Josh. Jesus, this is going to be bad. Can you tell this is the first clutch? I'll get better. I'll get better. Anyway, so we got 42508, 12 eggs, one slug, normal female, 23. Um, this is the hatch date that I got written on here, and I'll show you what it is. What I do is, today, this is my big calendar. Today is the 25th. So what I did is I just go right through that calendar to the 60th day from the 25th, which is the 23rd. And that's where I got it. 62308. That's 60 days. Hatch in 60 days, 62308. Now, at day 55, something will probably happen. They'll probably hatch at day 55. They might even hatch before that. But whenever I see my hatch date, I know 60 days is what I actually intended when I wrote it down. So, if they hatch a little bit before, great. If they hatch right on that, great. That's just my reference point. So, we've got this tub. And now we need to put vermiculite in. I'm just going to make sure that we did everything we needed to do here. Let's take this. Let's do this real quick. I'm really doing this one by the, off the hip. Uh, 4, 25, 08, 12 eggs, 1 slug. Keep her running, baby. Keep her running. Where is my nice pink highlighter? There it is. Then, on the back, we'll do 01, now, the 08 clutch, number one, 12 eggs, one slug. Now, what I've got here, you can see 3505, I wrote ovulating, 32408, I wrote shed, and I expected eggs on 42408, and today is 42508. So she laid her eggs uh, one day later than I expected. So I've got her ovulation, I've got her shed. I didn't actually mark follicles on her, but I sh could have. Um, we're a day later on her eggs, and we should be. 12 eggs, one slug. So that's what happens on her card. This is her card from the day I got her till now. When did we get this girl? Back in 98. That's a 98 female. That's a 10-year-old girl that laid all those eggs. And she's produced a lot of clutches. Then on the back, I got 08 clutch number one, 12 eggs, one slug. And after this uh, clutch hatches, the ratio of what was produced to calicos to normals or whatever happened will go in there on that clutch. So I always know to turn this card over and I'll be able to get all the details from that. So right now I'm going to have Josh cut away. And the next time you see us, we'll be at the sink mixing vermiculite. So that is 08 clutch number one, take one, out.